This is a little bit more of the flavor, perhaps, of, uh, of the day, uh, Senator Schumer. The Senate had passed the bill amazingly with $60 billion. The House was about to follow suit with a two-tiered process that would have sent us the bill. So, this, this is one of the most sad, but also most frustrating and angering days I've spent in 37 years as a legislator. Charles. I think all of them could use a therapist. <laughs> you know, Republicans have had a pretty bad week, actually a pretty bad year, well, last year. So perhaps we ought to cut them a little slack. But I think there are two problems here. There's, there's the process, which is insane. Just, you know, 20 years ago, this is sort of a, this would have been a huge bill. The idea that it should be passed in the middle of the night with no debate, with no regular order, simply because uh, people from one part of the country are demanding it, I think is insane. The second part of it is the content. There's a lot in there that is not emergency. I think there is a case to be made. Emergency, you dole it out with quick debate, even abbreviated debate. But I think, as you said, a third of it, I think, only a third of it is spent in the first two years. I'll give you one example. There's a provision for Amtrak for the damage, the uninsured damage to Amtrak. It's about uh, $30 million, and they're asking for 10 times as much, which would be covering the operating expenses of Amtrak. There's money for NOAA, which is the government agency that looks after hurricanes. Well, that's nice, but is that emergency? I think all of this stuff, there's been a corruption of the whole process, beginning with the, you know, the fiscal cliff negotiations, where enormous amounts of money are thrown around, private negotiations, voted on at the last second with no debate. There really ought to be a process here, and I think, yes, a small amount, emergency, ship it out, and then have a debate on the rest. Uh, this is a tribute to uh, Senate Democratic leadership aid, uh, getting this from Mike Emanuel up on the Hill. Friday, uh, the Senate will seek uh, unanimous consent.